Our O'Reilly Phillips is covering this story for you now about school threats in our area. We know that at least five different threats have been made to schools across the first coast in Georgia in less than a week. And those threats coming after a student shot and killed four people at a high school in Georgia last week. Riley Phillips is on your side tonight with more on how these threats are being investigated and what parents can do, Riley. Law enforcement officers have reported at least five threats against schools in our area, including three separate threats within 48 hours in Columbia County. Arrests have been made in that county, and our crime and safety expert says law enforcement agencies are good at being able to trace online activity quickly. You have to investigate it. Thoroughly. The first threat in Columbia County coming in over the weekend, prompting increased police presence at schools Monday morning. Then two more threats were made Monday. Three teenagers were arrested and charged with second degree felonies, according to the Columbia County Sheriff's Office. Palatka Junior Senior High School was put on lockdown Monday for a potential threat, and law enforcement in Jacksonville and Ware County, Georgia, also investigated threats to schools. First Coast News crime and safety analyst Mark Bachman says law enforcement officers take every threat seriously. You're putting Everybody on high alert with all these assets that you have to and attention that you have to give now to the school because the first time you become dismissive about it is when it really does happen. The threats were made using social media. Bachman says law enforcement agencies usually start by looking for the original post and tracing the person behind it. They also work alongside the school districts. And you also got to go in and talk to the, uh, you know, the people at the administration, the school, the principals. Did you expel anybody lately? Have you, who are your problem people? Do you have these individuals? What are their phone numbers? Although the people behind the threats were caught, parents were still shaken up. Dr. Christine Caulfield, the CEO of LSF Health System, says these threats, even if no one is hurt, can still have an impact on students' mental health. Acting out behaviors, withdrawal, nightmares, um, avoidance behaviors, not wanting to return to school. Dr. Caulfield recommends starting a conversation with your kids about how these threats make them feel and reassure them they are safe. We're going to talk about ways to ensure we're safe as we're going to school as uh, you know, we as a family are going to uh, take extra precautions to make sure that everybody's protected. And because of the number of threats made in Columbia County, the Sheriff's Office, State Attorney and the Superintendent of Schools will be holding a press conference tomorrow morning. They plan to provide an update on the threats and address parents' concerns. Riley Phillips, First Coast News, on your side.